You can create all kinds of stuff these days with a 3D printer, shoes, furniture, artificial limbs. We found one special use tailored to Louisiana at an industrial yard near Morgan City. It's aimed at enhancing Louisiana's coast. Contractors install a new artificial reef near Grand Isle to mimic nature, a 3D printed material specifically designed to create new habitat for sea life. You'd be surprised. Uh, we've got some that have, you know, six months in that are completely crawling with uh, crabs and oysters. Leonard Nelson is co-founder of Natrix, which calls its product Cajun Coral, a mix of cement and sand. On this day, the Cajun coral rolls out of an industrial yard in Amelia and onto a truck bound for the North Carolina Aquarium. These are tailored for the specific conditions of that site and for those specific wave conditions. There, it will be used to protect shoreline near a wetland area. So far, Natrix has shipped products to 11 states. Hawaii could be next. In Louisiana, the Coastal Conservation Association is about to build a fifth artificial reef with the product. It's 3D printed concrete, so literally whatever we can imagine, we can print this concrete to. They've used it to replace old oil and gas platforms that in some cases must be removed to comply with federal rules. Yet the platforms often lead to an explosion of sea life. Many sports fishermen see their removal as a loss of habitat. If we were to tear out an acre of rainforest, uh, which is incredible habitat too, people lose their minds. But we tear out this perfectly good habitat in the marine environment and people don't seem to talk about it. CCA's David Cresson says their latest Cajun coral design brings to mind cypress stumps with little nooks and crannies where small organisms underwater attach to the concrete. Todd Graves, the founder of Raising Canes, donated $100,000 to help build five reefs. It's an ecosystem with countless marine species, and something had to fill that void or those ecosystems just go away. Cajun coral is 3D printed in different shapes and sizes. The process injects the material through a series of needles into just the right parts of the mix, only in places where they want to form the reef. And these dosing pumps are injecting water into the dry bed to create the reef. The blue line is, is showing where we are injecting at the moment. These are uh, control boards that we've developed that, that allow us to precisely control the rate of injection. That allows them to achieve the right shape, size, roughness, and strength for a specific project. This is the injection head. Um, the action's happening inside the bed of dry mix, so we're injecting. <laughs> no offense, this is kind of anticlimactic. Yeah, we get... But, but the action's happening in here. That's right. I, we, we get that a lot. But under the surface, it all takes shape. The excess material, which never got wet, simply falls off. We're able to separate the dry material relatively easily. So you can see the edge of the actual unit right there. Hollow areas cut down on the weight. We're able to tailor that to the bottom to the bottom conditions and how much weight the soil can hold. That can be critical, especially along Louisiana's coast. In the past, some projects to install rocks failed because the rapidly sinking soil couldn't handle the weight of the rocks. The ability to reduce the footprint and accomplish the same engineering objectives with about one tenth of the weight that allows us to cut down on material usage, cut down on labor, cut down on equipment. Nelson says it's generally cheaper than rocks. Very consistently, I'd say about 80, 90 percent of the time, we're, we're, we're probably about half the cost to two thirds the cost of a rock based solution. Since Louisiana doesn't have rocks, that also avoids cutting a check to some out of state company to bring them here. So far, Nelson says they've created about 25 jobs. I think there's absolutely enormous opportunities for innovators and ecologists to work together, um, aside from this technology, to, to provide ways of building smarter, lighter, more biological. This drone video shows where Terrebonne Parish installed a 500-foot test section of Cajun coral in Pointe de Chen. It's still there after Hurricane Francine, although the levee district does say it's still evaluating the long-term use as bank stabilization. We have to be smarter about how we use limited resources. I think Louisiana is a great example of that. Natrix has partnered with Danos at the company's industrial yard in Amelia. The whole process begins with analyzing satellite images that allows them to gauge wave action in a specific area.